the stock market reversed gains and moved lower on Thursday following comments from Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell, who signaled aggressive interest rate hikes ahead while all but confirming market expectations of a half percentage point increase at the central bank's next policy meeting in May. Despite some Wall Street experts warning that corporate earnings could take a hit from inflationary pressures, so far, results have been largely positive. Of the 88 companies in the S&P 500 that have reported earnings so far, 87% have beaten analyst expectations. The views of Fed officials from across the policy spectrum remain relatively unanimous about the next several meetings, according to Vital Knowledge founder Adam Kreisofuli. That is especially true for May, where a 50 basis point hike and the start of balance sheet reduction are nearly guaranteed, but also the June meeting, where the Fed could very well hike by another 50 basis points, he predicts. Shares of Netflix fell roughly 2% on Thursday, a day after plunging over 35% on the back of dismal quarterly earnings. The streaming giant reported it lost subscribers for the first time in over a decade and forecasted it would lose even more this quarter. The stock was hit with a wave of downgrades from Wall Street analysts on Wednesday, with many experts warning that Netflix's plans to revive subscriber growth could take years. Recession calls grow as inflation threatens corporate earnings and rising costs hit consumers. Forbes Netflix stock crash, growth story is donezo for now as analysts slash outlooks. Forbes Netflix loses subscribers for the first time in 10 years, shares plunge 35%. Forbes more Fed officials are so.